Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of my vlogs. So today me and my mum, Opal and my sister Eliana are going to the range. So I thought instead of a weekly vlog, I'm going to do a, a daily vlog. So welcome back. I'm just going to put on some SPF moisturiser because I'm going outside. Now, I don't know whether it's just me, but I can't use my SPF moisturiser with my hyal hyaluronic acid and my niacinamide. Um, it just peels off my face. So I use the day that I cut, because I don't go out too often at the moment. I use that day to sort of like, I take a break from the, the acids, but I need to find a sun cream that I'm not going to react to because I brought Bondi Sands SPF and I had a full on allergic reaction to it. So I don't know, it's a nightmare to be honest. Um, had a, an allergic reaction last night, uh, not really sure. I am waiting to hear for an appointment for allergy testing because they need to find out what I'm allergic to first in order to do any like form of allergy therapy. It's a bit of a nightmare. I'm thinking at the moment it's rapeseed oil, which would tie in with my hay fever because I ate two things that I didn't realize contained rapeseed oil because I didn't check stupidly. And I literally struggled to breathe. My face was all red. My eyes were running, my nose was running. I had like sores come up all underneath my nose. So it's kind of burning right now, actually my nose where I rubbed it so much so that's a nightmare <laughs> um but yeah I'm hoping for a really good day today obviously gonna take you to the range see what bits they have to offer I do really need a bath mat that's not got Christmas things on it so at the moment my bath mat has Christmas dash hounds on it <laughs> so I kind of want to get one of those um but we'll see what we pick up i don't want anything too extravagant but i know what i'm like when i go to like b and and the range I end up with things that i don't even bloody need opal's currently watching coco melon in the front room she ate all of her porridge this morning i'm trying to like like we do feed her healthy food like we home cook most of our meals but i want to give her some more fruit like fruits i think like we did really well with at the start and then kind of slacked on so Strawberries are really expensive at the moment because they're not in season. And um, they had a deal on raspberries in Tesco's. So I picked her up some raspberries and I thought, you know what? Instead of just giving to them, giving her them whole, I'll crush them up and put them in her porridge. No, she refused to eat her porridge yesterday because it had raspberries in it. So I'm gonna try and make like a puree out of them and see if she'll have them that way because she, I think she finds them too sour. Like they, they were quite sour. But yeah. I'm literally just wearing jeans and a hoodie to go to the range. I'm not wearing anything special because I'm still recovering from my allergic reaction last night. <sighs> and it is the range, like I'm not gonna dress up to go to the range. I don't know why I'm justifying why I'm not dressed up, but I'm literally just in jeans and a hoodie. So I should probably update you as well on my little operation I had on my cervix. I'm doing a lot better now. I'm not gonna lie, like afterwards it was sore um, and I would have said so in my vlog and then it kind of just got a bit worse from there. But two days afterwards I was fine. Um, I was back doing my normal things. I couldn't exercise for the weekend and that completely threw me off like routine. And for me to like eat properly and not binge or not under eat, I have to have like a structured routine. That's just how I'm sort of coping with eating a normal diet of food, which I know is probably not unhealthy, but I feel like it's just how I'm learning like my way through food, if you will. So it was a bit of a nightmare for eating. I, on one day I binged a lot. Like I had like a packet of biscuits. I had, I think like three bowls of cereal. Like I ate a lot of food. And then the day after I didn't eat much at all because I was just too upset that I'd binged the day before. So that was not fun for me. And then on the Monday afterwards, I managed to exercise or sort of push myself to exercise. And it's really bizarre because he said, you'll feel like that when you like look like too much information. So if you're not one for the gory details and don't listen to this part but when you look at your knickers you'll see like coffee granules 
and it is literally true like it literally did look like i was a barista like my own barista my body was making coffee that's the update on that i'm doing a lot better now i'm back in my exercise back in my normal eating routine and trying to just love myself instead of being very negative which i was very negative about myself that weekend and i'm glad it was just the weekend so i better go and get ready to go to the range i'm not sure what time my mum is leaving but i expect it to be sometime soon and if i don't leave now i'll just end up waffling about really stupid things so i'll see you when we get to the range range now overall had a sleep in the buggy woke up for a milk and has gone straight back to sleep so i'm guessing <laughs> she's extra tired right now but i thought i would show you what i got from the range so first of all i got this lovely mirror like i don't i'm really not sure where i'm going to put it but i just thought it was gorgeous so then i've got this bath mat it's got like tassels on it because I wanted to get a bath mat that didn't have Christmas dogs on it. So, lovely. I did spend £65, but we won't talk about that too much. Then I got some twinkle banners for Opal's party. I got a rose gold balloon kit that I'm not sure whether, I think you need helium for some of them. Because I've got a balloon pump, but I don't have helium. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use all of them. Or I could just buy like a helium tank. But I got those. They have a food range. So I got some churros. I got myself some vegan sausage rolls. Greg style. I got Yo Sushi Korean style fried chicken. Me and Tristan love this. And I got Tristan some chicken bakes. From Greg's. So I'm pretty sure that's all the food I got. Then I got some sink drain gel. My receipt. I got the Wi-Fi password is. I'm sort of decorating now. I'm meant to be saving and Tristan is going to be so mad. Oh my God, did I just get a splinter? Fucking got a splinter. You're joking. Got this for the kitchen. A coffee a day keeps the grumpy grum, grumpies away. Well, that was pretty cool. Then I got this, which is a bag of snacks for Opal. Then, oh no, I lie, it's not the last of the food. I got salt and chili shredded chicken for another day. I got Tristan this for work because. He's trying to detox off of fizzy drinks because he drinks a lot and lot and it is really bad for his health. So I thought he could maybe take some squash in this and it's like glass. So I got that. I got Opal a number one candle. I don't know if that will focus because it's there's a lot going on right now. I got some, the pink stuff, disinfectant cleaner nearly there got some screws to screw my things up and then i got this lovely deluxe hand towel i'm really obsessed with like cream colors at the moment and that is literally all i got um and it did come to 67 pound which is ludicrous but well worth it i got some really good things of course i was gonna end this video with me pm night skin routine to excuse the black robe i'm about to take a few instagram photos in which i hope will actually eventually be uploaded 
but I'm so indecisive. Uh, there is a possibility they might never actually make it to the ground. I had such a good day today. Just being out with my mum and my sister and Opal. I feel like we had a really good time. Spend so much money unnecessarily. Um, well, actually I wouldn't say unnecessarily because I got some really good bits. I didn't just spend my money on like rubbish. Um, and some of the stuff I've already put around the apartment. So when I next do like a weekly vlog, they'll probably make an appearance and you can see like whereabouts I put them. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't say I wasted money because that phrase like only applies to things that you're not going to use in my opinion like yeah they were unnecessary purchases but i will utilize them i need to still i haven't unpacked my beauty bay order completely um obviously we all know the state it arrived in but it's still on my floor ready for an unboxing haul which I'm really needing to film I just haven't got around to it yet because to be fair I was going to film it yesterday but then I had my allergic reaction and there's no way I could film a, any sort of video with the state I was in like fully snotting and leaking everywhere it just wouldn't have been a picture <laughs> But um, yeah, I need to film that. So that's going to be one of my next videos, hopefully. I can only apologise. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. But you can really hear they're doing military training. So we live right next to an army barracks. And at the moment, they're really doing military training, like loads. Like we've so far, we've seen flares. We've seen helicopters. We can hear helicopters because it goes on to like 2am. Um, boats and everything, like... It's a bit crazy to be honest everyone not complaining like it's not that it doesn't bother me that much like i'm usually asleep but it's kind of worrying like why is there so much military stuff going on at the moment obviously i know about ukraine and russia i'm not really going to get into it because it just stresses me out like things like that just stress me out because like people are so unpredictable like nothing screams instability well mental instability like invading a country but yeah people scare me people are unpredictable and i think that's exactly how i'm gonna sum up that situation so things like that just freak me out I've still got the sores around my nose from where i had my allergic reaction living living our best life on my nose right so that brings me to the end of this video let me take my hair down before we sign off oh, i'm oh i nearly exposed myself i'm really loving the alice bands at the moment they are so good for keeping your hair out of the way so yeah they're not the best looking but oh my god do i love my hair being out the face without having it too tied up that's better so thank you so much for coming to the range with me i had the best time bought the best things can't wait to like fully decorate with the things that i've got i'm hoping my next video will be my skincare video and then maybe there'll be a vlog somewhere in between that i'm not really sure i'm not going to promise anything but thank you so much for watching i hope you had a really good week weekend day and i will see you next time